<laughs> All that money. Not a lot of boxes. Here, let me sign your document. I'll let you get on your way. Thank you, buddy. Well, we've been waiting for that delivery. That is not a lot of boxes for what that just cost me. That is for sure. It's about four and a half thousand pounds worth of stuff right there, including a new turbo for the class. Man, this thing's so expensive. And I'll tell you what, that's come out of our savings and Loretta is not happy. She's not happy, but I need it. I, I've got no choice. I need it. And that's nothing. That's five grand of our savings then early. We had to take another five grand of savings out to get the class actually fixed. It's very expensive. Very, very expensive. And uh, I better shut the gates actually and lock them up, and not I? I've got all of this expensive stuff sat right there. Padlock that. So I don't want to let Terry loose on the class if I'm honest with you. I mean, he's very impressive. He's done some really, really good things. He's very good, but I wouldn't want to put him under that much pressure. You know, we, we need that. We're talking thousands and thousands of pounds worth of equipment right, right here. I just don't want to do that to him. I don't want to put him in the spot. And, you know, if he does something wrong, I can't afford that. I can't afford anything to go wrong. And I wouldn't want to put that burden on him. So, yeah, we're, it's going to cost us a fortune. We got a mobile mechanic. That was someone then from the the class from Renault dealership. Someone there's going to come out. I mean, we've got the facilities for it. They'll bring their own tools, but I've got tools if they need them. But yeah, going to be a few days, a few more days out of action. That is, haven't paid for it yet, but they are due to come. I think they're due to come end of this week. Hopefully, we do need that. We need that front loader. We need to sort those bales out that Terry scowled over the place. Anyway, look. Terry's done a great job again. He's, he's finished serving this now. I haven't looked at getting a wilder yet. But he's made the most of this brand new piece of kit. And I'll tell you what. This must be one of the most impressive pressure washers I've ever used. It is absolutely fantastic. And it's going to get a lot more use today. Because we're getting rid of this. Loretta wants it gone. And after last week, when I had to do that school run, it's the only school run I've done. I've avoided it ever since. It was just an absolute nightmare. So I do understand. I get where she's coming from. So we're going to get rid of it. We've spoken to that dealership already. We're going to take a little drive over there later on. But Terry is going to give that a good valet for me. Wow. As good as he can anyway. But he, he's alright. He is alright. Now, Travascus. Wow. 
He hasn't come back yet. <laughs> he hasn't come back yet. I do hope he's alright. He told me he was going to leave the country. I mean, surely he didn't actually leave the country. I don't know. I'm not too sure. So, we've been keeping an eye on them. And we've been feeding them where we could. To be honest, they seem to be better behaved without Javascus here anyway. I think they're doing it on purpose just to wind him up. Yeah, but it's a good good learning opportunity for, for Terry. He's been learning. He should be here now. Oh, hello, Terry. Oh, hello. How are the cows doing today, all right? Yeah, I think I might be able to talk to them as well, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm sure of it, Terry. You must be a natural. You must be a natural. Yeah, do me a favour later, though, and shut that other door as well. There's a bit of a draft coming through here. Terry, just at the top of the yard, mate, there's um, parts for the class. They're, they're very expensive. Just do me a favour, because I don't want to just head off to the field like I planted. I just need to check in and make sure that's all right. But just do me a favour and just bring those boxes down. Chuck them in the workshop. Well, don't literally chuck them, by the way. But put them in the workshop somewhere safe. Now, you do understand, obviously, that you know we're, we're paying someone who's very experienced to do the work. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to, to think I don't trust you with it. Oh, no, that's all right. I, I think I could have done it, though. Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe you could have done, mate, but I didn't want to put the burden on you. There's there's a lot of money's worth of stuff there. And uh, it's not really the kind of equipment that you'd be practicing on, to be honest with you, mate. But I will get a welder, though, like, like you asked for. I am going to do it. I actually found a bit of scrap metal in the yard that wasn't collected. So it's plenty for you to practice on, buddy. So I'll sort that out. I'll get that wilder as soon as I can. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pemperfy. That's all right, mate. No worries. Right. So he's just kind of having fun, pretending to talk to cows. So we'll just leave him to it. I hope he doesn't turn into a little mini Travascus. Oh, now that I think about it, that does seem to be the way it's going. Hmm. Right. Well, I've left the keys in there. I trust him to move that just into here to give it a wash yeah he's, he's alright with that he's, he's not too bad it is automatic it's not that difficult he did alright on that tractor to be honest it wouldn't surprise me if he struggles and tries to wash it in the bush knowing what Terry's like <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what he's going to do anyway right let's jump into this we're going to head off and just, just have a look at the field He's done a good job. I mean, it was already clean inside anyway. But I can actually see out the windscreen and out the windows now. How great is that? God, we even have a rear view mirror. Wow. <laughs> it's not in a very good condition though. That previous owner did not look after it. That is for sure. Right, let's head on down. We just want to check in. See how those fields are germinating. Okay, doesn't actually look like a lot's happened. But then it's only been about a week and a half, isn't it? Right, let's just jump up here. It was more I wanted to have a look at them while it's kind of fresh, bright, early in the morning. Nice day. Yeah, I mean it doesn't look too bad though. Probably don't want to walk on it too much if I'm honest with you. But yeah, yeah I can see the rose. I can see that that cedar seems to have done a very good job anyway. And this one here. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Now, if we decide to continue to lease this next year, I, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of money and just get some sampling done. A few random spots of the field. I'll scoop up some earth and just send it away and just try and figure out how is it looking for pH levels and nitrogen and things. Yeah. I mean, whatever yield we get is better than no yield at all. We didn't even have any fields a few weeks ago, so we can't really go wrong. Now up here, I'm just going to take a stroll. I'm not going to risk driving that here, even though it would have been easier on my legs. Just in case. Just in case that's not our field. You guarantee as soon as I drive it on a main road, there'll be a police car. And it's not really road legal yet, is it? I don't know if it'll ever be. Depends what Terry's wilding skills are like I guess yeah, this looks pretty good as well look. this looks like a better quality field it looks like it's been looked after a little bit better but then he did have that 
farmer do quite a lot of work, didn't he, before we actually took it over. Oh, that looks good. Brilliant. All right. Well, I just wanted to just wanted to check in first thing in the morning, make sure I hadn't missed anything obvious. Again, making the most of the nice weather. Now let's head on back. Terry needs to start cleaning that pickup for us, and then we're, we're going to make our way. I'll have to pop back, pick up Loretta, and we'll make our way down to Attingham. Not too far, about an hour's drive. Hopefully, they've polished up that tick one for us, because it wasn't. Hmm, it wasn't wasn't in the best condition before. And for that kind of money, I would expect it to be absolutely gleaming. Oh, what is it? <laughs> He actually is. He's in there crouched in the bush. Oh, Terry. Um, God, we've got so many vehicles here now. Where am I going to start parking things? Let's pop it down here. What is he like? Terry? Oh, hello. Um, mate, what are you doing down there? Um... Well, it's quite hard to get the pressure washer into the wheels. Move the car, mate. I've left the keys in there. I did say to you before I'd let you move it. Um, I couldn't figure out how to turn it on. It kept saying, press the pedaling. Uh, oh, Terry. You've got so much to learn, haven't you? I'll move it for you, mate. Get out of the way. Come on. Alright, that'll do him. <laughs> he is funny. There you go, mate. That's better. Oh, thank you. That's all right. No worries. See how much mud came off of that pickup truck, though. <sighs> Gonna have to pressure wash all of this off as well at some point. Wow. Okay. Did you move those boxes yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're in the workshop, Mr. Pemberthy. All right, mate. Well done. Do you want a cup of tea, Terry? Um... Yes, please. Okay, you, you had a long think about that then. Right, I'm going to put the kettle on, mate. It's quite handy having a little uh, cheap farm hand. I'm not going to lie. I kind of see why Travascus has him doing stuff. Here you go, mate. You're doing a great job. Have a cup of tea a minute. All right, buddy. Why is that beeping? Well, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, just have a rest. Just... Just sit down five minutes, mate. Have a cup of tea. I'll be back in a minute. Someone's beeping. I can hear an engine running. Ah, there's the the father-in-law. Not seen him for a while. I wonder what he wants. Don't tell me. He doesn't know how to open. Oh, I locked the gates, didn't I? My bad. Morning, Paul. Oh, morning, my cock. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm bloody good. Bloody, bloody good I am. How are you? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. Not too bad. I'm kind of curious where your dad is, though. I, you know, it's been a good week since I've seen Travascus. Are you not worried about him? No. Bloody hell. This isn't the first time I cook. Cool. Every time Mrs. Travascus, my mother, catches him doing something, he bloody runs off. The best he's ever done is two bloody weeks. <laughs> well, it's coming up to two weeks now. I was half expecting to come here today and find a caravan hidden in the corner, to be honest with you. But, but where do you think he is? He, he must be somewhere. Oh, he'll be alright, McCock. He always bloody does this, he does. He is a special man, that man. God, I'm bloody glad I don't take after him too much. Here, I hope for your sake Loretta don't take after him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, how can I help you today, anyway? Oh, I just thought I'd bring this bloody newspaper in my cock. Here you go. Oh, what is it? Another episode of the Banwell Gossip. Here we go. He did what he said. Local farm owner Jack Pemberthy has done exactly what he said and restored the historically dangerous farm entrance. Oh, nice. It's about time I got a bit of glory from all of these locals. Was Banwell's worst incident hotspot. Yeah, I have heard that quite a bit, actually. And it was an absolute nightmare. It was a nightmare. Well, this is good. Locals have warmed to the idea of the out-of-town farmer and almost consider him to be a fully-fledged local now. Wow. 
I'm not gonna lie, is, is that a compliment? Is that a compliment? Neighborhood watch leader Kevin Enfield, here we go, did not wish to comment on the progression of Pemberthy's farm. Yeah. Isn't that surprising? I don't know what I don't know what he's got in for me, you know. Maybe we met in a past life or something, but yeah, he's he's always like it. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, ideal. Uh, do you want this newspaper back? Oh yeah, go on then, my cock. I'll have a bit of a read, like doing those bloody word searches and crosswords in the back. Better than talking to the missus. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, thank you very much. Anyway, it's nice. And uh, look, I'll I'll let you know if he reappears. But. I mean, if you're not too worried about him, then maybe I haven't got to worry too much. It is strange, though. All right, mate. Well, it's nice to see you. We'll um, we'll pop round at some point with the twins. Now that they're in nursery, they're learning so much. They're really coming along. So we'll definitely pop round at some point. But for a minute, I've got loads to do. So I'll see you in a bit. Here, before we go, you got rid of that bloody moped yet? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Um, I have, I have passed. I forgot to say the Christmas present you gave me, the the bike test, the like intense course. I did it the entire week and I passed. So I have actually got a license now. I, I think I want to say I can go up to nine hundred cc, nine hundred cc compared to fifty cc on a bike that's probably thirty or forty years old. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's just money. Money's tight. Money's really tight. This this tractor breakdown probably going to cost a good ten grand. Bloody hell, boy. Well, I'll keep an eye out for some better motorbikes for you, and I'll let you know. All right. Ideal. Look, nice to see you, Paul. I'll see you later. See you later, my bird. Nice. All right, well, I don't need to worry about leaving the gate locked up. Yeah, no worries, mate. I'll rinse off this side as well in a minute. Oh, it is looking a lot better, though. Well done, mate. i just got to try and get it there without driving through any more mud. This yard is absolutely filthy. It's looking good, though, mate. This is washing off nicely. Ah, uh, Mr. Pemberthy? Yeah, mate, you alright? Yeah, what do you want me to do while you're gone? Um... I, mean, I would like you to just be here. To be honest with you, you, I'm sure you can find yourself something to keep you busy. Just keep an eye on the farm. Pra practice your talking to those cows. That's a good idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice one, mate. And out yourself to tea and coffee as well, mate, if you ever want one. I think, uh, I think the option for Mrs. Travaski's soup might be out of the question for a minute or two, though, mate. I think it might be. <laughs> okay good well nice one Terry thank you for that it's looking pretty sweet so I'm going to make a move now mate uh, I'll pro I'm going to be I'm going to be a couple of hours just hang around and keep busy mate find yourself something to do you'll be alright a couple of hours I'll be back alright buddy yeah okay right he'll be alright he'll be alright he's a good lad I don't really want to tell him to do anything too much because, well, leaving a 16 year old driving heavy equipment and machinery around, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe he'll use his initiative though and clean the vulture. That'll be pretty good. Right, come on, we've got loads to do. Let's get rid of this. Last time I'm going to be driving this. Very last time. Well, hopefully she's ready. She's never normally ready whenever we have anything to do. But hopefully this time she's ready. We've got to get back in time for the school run. Yeah, we've only got about three and a half hours before we've got to pick them up again. Right. Let's give us some beeps. Oh, there she is. Here she's coming. She's in the living room. Come on. Should better turn that light off. Can't afford that electric bill.
Well, I'm not bothered either way, but Beretta is certainly very excited about this new car. Yeah, hopefully it's ready for us anyway. Okay. We haven't sold a lot of cars actually since the last time we were here. Loretta, I'm just going to leave you to it talking to them. You, you've done all the dealing so far. I want to go and have a look at these motorbikes. While we're here, let's look at that. To be honest, it doesn't look like it's moved, but they've certainly cleaned it up a bit better anyway. And there is a massive size difference. Definitely. So that's going to be much better for her. Well, it's done anyway. It's decided now. Nothing I can do about that to change it. I do. I just, I just love these. I just love these. I think that maybe is my favourite, but it is a bit. I don't know. Is it very adult-like? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to lie. If I forget those ones there, this one here is probably my favourite. And it's a BMW, so I know that Paul's going to approve. I just like it. I just like it. It must be some sort of fancy one. I don't know what the models mean. I don't know. They won't mind if I get on it, will they? Yeah, I like this. I do really like it. Just feels nice. The seats feel nice. Just looks good, doesn't it? I'm just going to ask him if I'm allowed to to start it. Actually, yeah, let's go in there while they're doing the paperwork. I'll just interrupt, and I'll just ask him if you let us start it and have a look. Yeah, he's giving me the keys. Just give me the keys. I would love to own this. Let's see if we can get this started. Oh, it does sound good. It does sound very good. I like it. 600cc as well, apparently. Am I, um, I don't know. I don't really know how it works. My license said I can drive up to 900cc, but the guy here reckons 600 is plenty fast enough. Especially going from a 50cc. So maybe. No, it's even got Brembo brakes by the look of it. I quite like that. I do quite like that. It's a 14 plate. Is that old for a bike? I don't know. Well, here we are. Loretta is pretty happy about it. But <laughs> she wants me to drive home. Must be like the new car syndrome, I guess. It's very nice in here. Very flashy. Very comfortable as well. Very, very comfortable. Alright, make sure there's no traffic. Let's make our way back. So that only took her an hour to sort out. So that's not too bad. We should make it back plenty of time for the kids. Alright, no more traffic. Let's go. Thanks for letting me get out here. You sure you're going to be alright to drive it back? It's smooth. You'll be alright anyway. Good choice though. I actually really like it. Are these fancy indicators? Cool. Very, very fancy. Right. i got to get on. I'll see you later. Right. Should be alright driving that back home. She needs to get used to driving it either way, doesn't she? Now what's going on? It's been about three and a half hours. By the time I drove back, what's Terry been up to? Well, the bike is... What? Terry? Oh, hello! What, what are you up to? Well, I started cleaning the moped, but it's not in very good condition. No, I know. So, what, you decided to open all the boxes instead um well yeah we did learn about tractors in college and I think what they told you was very expensive 
So I thought I'd have a look myself. Okay, mate. Well, what have you done with all the parts? Um, I put some on. Okay, so I, mean, I don't know if that was a great idea, Terry. Um, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, yeah. Would you, um, would you just get in it and try and start it? Um, is that safe? Yeah, I think so. Right. I'm putting a lot of trust into a 16 year old. A lot of trust. Hmm. Alright, Terry, well, just, just tell me when, mate. Don't know what he's doing in there. What he's doing in there. There's still two unopened boxes over there. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll trust him. Okay, try it. Oh. Alright. It started. And there's no lights on the dash. What's happening, Terry? Um, well, I think it's fixed. No way. Oh, God. Has he actually fixed it? Terry, have you actually fixed it? Yeah. Ooh. But you haven't even used half the parts. What have you done? Um, it just needed an oil fill pipe. Mr. Pemberthy. So the rest of it was okay. I just changed that. It took me about an hour. Wow, you are kidding me. They, they sold me nearly five grand worth of parts. Um, well, yeah, sometimes it does damage the turbo, but I think it's okay. Mate, this is incredible. I can get a refund. Oh, Loretta's going to actually be happy with me. This is amazing. Well done, Terry. Well done, mate. This is incredible. Oh, that's okay. Oh, fantastic. Uh, brilliant. Well, I'm just going to leave it running, I think, in the background. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. The money that we just saved from selling the pickup, Loretta's taken. She, she's not letting me have any of that. She just put it straight back into the, the savings account. But I don't actually need all of this. I mean... Terry has saved so much money. He saved me so much money. Maybe Loretta will let me buy a bike after all. Oh, that would be brilliant. That would be really good. What's, what's that noise in the barn? Terry, who's in the barn? Um, I don't know. Maybe the cows are just talking to each other. No, because cows moo to each other, Terry. There's someone in there. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I wonder if Travascus has made another little show. I wonder if he's finally built up the courage to come back. No, he's not in there though. Terry still hasn't shut that door. Um... No, that is not. Tra Excuse me. Hello. That's definitely not Travascus. Oh, I leave my handsome. Um, Travascus. Oh, what's on my bird? What have you done to your face? <laughs>